Hello, hello, hello! It's Pam Duffy here again, and I thought I would have another try at creating a cat's head sculpture. I'm sure we've seen these all over social media, they're looking awesome, um, and I'm still learning. So I thought I'd show you again the process. Now this is a thousand times speeded up. It is in no way a tutorial, because I don't think I'm good enough at them yet to create a tutorial, but just showing the idea. Now this is a regular piece of, um, I think it's pure water felt that I've just sketched a cat's face onto and I'm felting out the basic shape. I just go for it above the upper jaw and then the head shape first. Now if I was making this again I think my final cat to me looks a little flat in the face so I would probably even increase the depth of this even more than I have done but so far I'm making a rough kind of oval shape with a with a bum shape in the bottom for where the, the jaw is, for where the mouth, the, the roof of the mouth is. And if you haven't already seen those eyes that made a quick debut in there, those are the eyes I painted, um, decided to paint myself. I have a video on that from a couple of weeks ago that I'll link in the cards up above. Now I just roughly sketch out where I want the bits of the cat to be, where I think I need the eyes to be. Just used a green sharpie for this because it's not going to be seen in the final piece and again spending as long as needs be to make it as firm as possible if you're adding long hair into oh funny cat with many eyes just deciding which ones look the best if you're adding long hair into a piece the base of your piece has to be as firmly felted as you can and then I pop the eyes into the place I want them to be added some little more fleece to the base of his his mouth and then I'm making lower eyelids and then the upper upper eyelid and nose t-shape as you can see here it's a kind of pointy arrow that rounds off at the end and that's his nose and his eyes I just roughly shape it based on on the shape of the cat holding it up to his face popping the nose in at the end and then I felt it on in a closed eye position roughly felt it nice and firm and slowly as I'm going over I felt up and down the eyes to open them as you can see as the eyes are glass then it's not going to scratch them or damage them in any way but just slowly play peekaboo with a cat just slowly open his eyes and felt this all in place now actually I was the most happy at about this stage with the cat I think the building up the cheeks of the mouth, the making the tea piece for the eyes and the lower eyelids, building up a kind of forehead as well with that lower eyelids, I think gave a really nice cat head shape. Unfortunately, I'm not quite so happy with how it finished, but you'll see. You're probably skipping to the end. But here we go, just gently felting up and down into his eyes to open his eyes. And then before I pop the hair onto the cat, um, I just give an idea of where I want the shading to be. So I'm using colours of a light kind of tan colour and a chocolate colour and then a little bit of black just to work roughly on the air, what colour I'm going to be putting the long hair in on. It doesn't have to be perfect at this stage, it's just for a guide for myself to see if I'm happy with how the cat's looking. And like I say, constantly felting all over to make it as firmly as firm as possible because the more firm it is the more dense the fibers are packed in so when you come to add your long hair for each stab it's meshing with more fibers all at once and then i just want to make some ears trying to make them identical i want with some some of the lighter color showing through but mainly the dark color so I add some lighter color and then make a triangle of the darker color and felt that in remember if you're using a cushion you have to lift it off every so often so it doesn't get stuck and then flipping it over and felting in that triangle to make it nice and firm folding over the edges and covering with just a little more of the darker brown because there was too much white well too much of the light tan color showing doing the same with both ears I work them both at the same time so I can 
roughly try and get the size about the same it's never identical and if you need to cut bits you need to cut bits thankfully in this i didn't didn't quite need to having the center with the lighter color is really good because as you felt it it kind of leaves little strands of color coming through it makes it really look like fur and if you felt this like crazy until it gets really firm when it's firm and the nice thin shape it really feels like ears um, once it's relatively firm, I take it off the cushion and stab it in my hand quite a lot more. And then back to some more shading around the, I felt like lighter around the eyes of the cat. So a sort of the lighter tan and also added some black lines around there as well, which you'll see, see later. But just looking at reference pictures of cats, I can't remember what breed this is supposed to be. I think it's a kind of Siamese. Um, and there's the ears at where they're at and um, colouring in the nose a bit um, and working on a nose shape. Again, looking at reference photos of a cat for what their actual nose looks like and making it, it's sort of a downward pointing arrow shape with, with nostrils in it. <laughs> it's difficult to explain. And then black lines around the eyes because the eyes will be seen from the fur. I decided with the ears as well, I wanted black around the very tips of the ears, so just added that the same way as the brown and then felted it in towards the center. And that gives a kind of real nice shading. I think the ears turned out some of the best and I wish you could actually feel them as well. They feel like real cat's ears, which is rather bonkers. And just making a lower jaw, um, just a little U shape that pops in. I'm shading it with the lightest tan at the base and then the dark chocolate and then adding a little bit of black just at the lips and felting that all in place. As I go along I'm also squishing the cat's head trying to shape it how I see it most pleasing and then popping those ears on in place as well. Making sure to felt it all round so it's nice and secure and then we're on to adding the hair. Um, which is basically, there's no shortcuts to, to doing this, um, just cutting really fine rows in the colour I want, at the length I want, and felting them in place. And yeah, I'll just leave you with a bit of music to listen to <laughs> while I finish off felting in the fur here.
once the fur is all in place, then I just give it a trim, just like I did with some of the pom-poms with my super sharp Fishker scissors. You really want good scissors for this so it doesn't drag. You could also leave it. I, I kind of liked it kind of fluffy as well. But when you felt it, when you when you trim it, it gives a real plush surface as well. Nice dense fibres. And then that's my cat, pretty much. Cleaned him up and you can see the nice plush fibres. And for everyone who skipped to the end, here's the cat. There's his. I'm really happy with how the hand-painted eyes turn out. I think the head's a little flat, but he's kind of cute still. So there's my cat. Thank you so much.